Kiyoman Valley School District teachers understand the importance of engaging students in the learning process, and one of the ways they ensure this engagement is through hands-on activities where students learn by doing. At the middle school level, science classrooms at both Middle School East and West have been taking on some pretty advanced scientific challenges that put them in charge of their own learning. At East, students in Sarah Lanzetta's class took part in a project where they pretended to be interns for a chemical engineering company called Futura. Futura asked them to create portable baby incubators that would meet three criteria, maximize a baby's time in a healthy temperature zone, keep temperature consistent, and keep costs low. Students had to choose between different types of phase change materials to change the temperature of the incubator. They also had to choose between different types of insulating material, such as nylon or cotton, to transfer heat to the baby and prevent the heat from escaping. A computer program allowed students to test the different materials to see how they affected the criteria they were expected to meet. Basically, this is like the incubator itself, and we had to select like whether we want nylon as the material or cotton and we would have to select whether we want sodium acetate, chemophilia, and paraffin, and like whatever amount of each. And here, if you scroll down, well, I can't really scroll down, but here it says the total cost of it. So here it says $20 for this, and then if you add more, it like, it adds to the price, and it'll tell you how much it's worth. Mm -hmm. So it has to, you have to meet the design criteria, and it gives you all the, the information so it, it'll it'll share it'll illustrate for you the combination of the materials and then the cost yeah. now now tell me what does one of these designs look like is that what you have there next to you on the desk is that an example uh, yeah okay so tell us about that Angelina tell me about that so well, the first one we did was the trial with our partners and then these were the ones that we did after we submitted our designs and after we got our feedback we had to come up with more designs to, that would edit like and fix what we had to change so they met the criteria. So like for this design, it, the desired temperature range was 524 minutes and then the safety rating was 7.55 out of 10. And then the total cost was $53. So when we would submit it, they would tell us either if our cost was too high or if our safety rating was too low or anything. And then we had to come up with designs that would fix those. Angelina explains how she examined temperature data to determine how she might adjust materials. Yeah. So I think about if the, it drops down constantly and changes, I don't think that that would be safe for the baby because it has to maintain a consistent temperature. And then if it got too hot on this level, I would I changed mine because I don't want the baby to get burned or anything. Or if it was too cold, I would, didn't want it to be like that. So I wanted it to be like straight, straight in the middle. Over at West, students also put on their engineering hats for a modified experiment from the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers called How the Rubber Meets the Road. During the process, students researched the roles of engineers and simulated corporate life by developing their own engineering teams, complete with company name, logo, and mission statement. They then completed two team building challenges where they researched the construction of tires and how tires are made to prevent hydroplating. Students digitally designed multiple treads and worked as a team to decide which tread would be the most successful. They presented their ideas to the board, which was their class, before they could make a model of the chosen tread. All ideas had to be supported by research. West student engineers then carved their tread out of clay, endeavoring to meet certain specifications for dimensions, tread depth, and surface duration. Students created formal presentations using Google Classroom to demonstrate what they had learned. Learning by doing certainly teaches many different lessons, not only about science, but about the importance of trial and error, accuracy, and flexibility. At first, like before we started this, I didn't know that like one of the main things to this project is you have to keep a consistent temperature. I just thought that as long as it stays warm a little bit out of the time, that it would be fine. But especially for a growing baby, like if you keep a consistent temperature, then it'll help its development. Kind of thing. Tell me, what, what have you learned about a design process or about um, some of the ideas or the development of something new? <laughs> it's a long process, and I could, like I just learned that it's a lot of like steps that they go into that they're not just trying to make money off of you. They're actually considering how it's going to help the, whatever the product is being used for, 
and like all the steps that go into it and all the consideration and all the time and effort that you put into it. Also, um, sometimes like you can't always have the perfect plan. <laughs> like um, sometimes you might have two things that exceed the criteria and that are really good, but you might have something that you might want to change or, and sometimes you might have to sacrifice other things for that. So it really, it really just... So do you like this way of learning science? Yeah, because I like being more hands-on with things and learning from my mistakes and learning how I can improve things instead of being told how to do certain things. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I really do because um, it's better than, you know, opening up a textbook or, or really just getting a worksheet and mm -hmm. studying. I, I think it's better to, you know, actually have something like, in your hands and being able to use it and, you know, being able to research like that.